Uh, I was at a friend of mine's house and a lady up the street from him had this dog and she wanted rid of the dog so she was abusing him a little bit and I decided well okay I'm gonna take him and that's how I got him that very day that very moment I would describe the relationship between uh, Snickers and my dad as best friends, buddies that just want to go everywhere together. He didn't have it very good before my dad. Uh, my dad has COPD, which is a uh, degenerative lung disease. He needs to be on air uh, to help him breathe and whatnot, and some days are better than others. When I have an attack, it like knocks me right out. And that's what happened when Snickers saved me, because I had an attack and I ended up on the floor and I was here by myself. He broke out the back door and um, went to get the neighbors. We received a call of a dog complaint. Apparently a black and white dog was running around a house in Oshawa and was preventing people from leaving the house to go to work. We were able to talk to the, the lady that called us and she explained that she believed that the dog belonged to her neighbor. Shot my flashlight in through the kitchen and into the living room and I saw a pair of feet that were sticking up on the floor. We were banging on the doors, feet weren't moving, so we called for an ambulance and then we were able to force our way into the house. When we got into the house, we saw what turned out to be Mr. Gould lying on his back in an unconscious state. During our investigation, we had learned that Snickers was inside the house, had gone through a window to alert the neighbors and apparently he'd been running around the front of the house to the back of the house for about two hours just trying to get people's attention. I was here the day before uh, visiting my dad. I'd uh, mowed the lawn and stuff like that and uh, then I, I got a call the next day from a police officer saying okay uh, there's been a problem with your uh, father. He's in the hospital and we had to uh, break in the door. I had built up the yard uh, so he couldn't get out type of thing, right? The, you know, where you can just let the dog in the backyard and you don't have to worry about him. He's not going to get out unless apparently he wants to. He went way right up the back door and broke the metal. Now he didn't, he broke the glass out on the screen door, but he didn't go through the glass. He actually bounced on it enough that he finally hit the, the, the release handle on the door and got out. And then he went all the way around to other houses and uh, over here to uh, our neighbor's home. My neighbors had just bought their house two weeks before we had. So they didn't really know who this dog was. They actually thought he was a coyote at first because of his colorings and, and how he was acting, right? They were like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And finally, he hit the dog had uh, made enough noise and whatnot, and the house uh, had woken up. And their little girl was actually one of the people in the home who was aware, no, that's our neighbor's dog, right? I see him all the time. His name's Snickers. I woke up two days later in the hospital. I would, would, would not be alive if he didn't do that. He definitely saved my life. There was no ifs, ands, or buts about that. He knew something was wrong and, uh, well, uh, took means to uh, try to fix it. Snickers definitely saved Mr. Gould's life that day. Snickers' behavior that day was very unusual. Um, I've grown up with dogs and it's not typical dog behavior. I would say uh, he, he's a hero just out of the fact of uh, if he didn't do what he did, my dad wouldn't be here. Like the, the doctors told me, they were like, uh, your father had maybe an hour if he didn't get medical attention. What made me want to submit this story to the Purina Animal Hall of Fame was the fact that just playing the whole scenario back in, in my head and to everybody else I related the incident to, uh, everybody was amazed. You hear about animal behavior and their loyalty to their owners, but you never figure that you'll ever experience it. He's definitely a hero. And I'd like to thank him for saving my dad's life. <laughs>